everyone, my name is Beverly. Today I will present to you guys about the biography of Peter Henlein. First, we will see general information about Peter Henlein. Second, we will see about values and then biblical worldview. And the last is what we should learn from Peter's life. Peter Henlein is a famous clock inventor after he issued his first clock in 1505. He was born in Nuremberg, Germany in 1485. Peter Henlein was previously a worker in a longsmith company. He is a person who is famous for his unyielding personality and tenacity at work. This can be seen from his persistence in making clocks so that this clock can be useful for humans to this day. Firstly, Peter Henlein, who has been recognized as the inventor of the world's first watch. Although the invention of the clock has a long history before him, he developed the watch because he worked as a longsmith early in his career. From a Christian perspective, we are thought that everything we do is for the glory of God and not for our own glory. Peter Hanlon is someone who assembles clocks using the brain that God gave him. However, when fin finished making the clock, all that is known until now is only the name of his own and not the name of God. I, as a Christian person who has lived in a Christian environment since I was a child until I was teenager like now, I recall that we were created by God with very special patience and uniqueness. What he has given, let everything return to him who we'll give everything and even if we realize that we have strength, do not be proud of others, but practice this talent so that our offerings and self service smell good in God's eyes and God's name can be glorified. Secondly, on September 7, 1504, Henlon had a fight with a hello locksmith named George Glazer. In that fight, George died and Henlon was made a suspect. Maybe from a Christian perspective, Peter should not have joined the war because fighting is a sin for believers. But who knows a person's life? It was precisely this fight that made Peter enter a convent where people with mental problems took refuge and it was from here that he began assembling his first watch. The Bible does not teach straight Godness just like that. Of course, in pain, God's big plan will appear. It is like there is a verse that says, For I know what I have planned for you, says the Lord. I have plans to prosper you, not to harm you. I have plans to give you a future filed with hope. Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 11. In my opinion, God will not give something with an easy and effortless process for us to go through and again, we are a sinful human who will still feel suffering in this world. Through Peter's story, I who used to give up when facing problems being taught again how we have to survive in situations that even make it difficult for us and we have to follow him and be grateful for what we still have. Thirdly, in his lifetime, he was married to three women, Kutnigan to Ernst, his first wife, and Marguerite, his second, and Walburger Skeyer, his third wife. Based on the Bible, it says that marriage is one in a lifetime, and in marriage, there can only be one woman and one man. In this case, Peter does have shortcomings, but in short, this is a lesson for fewer that marriage is holy and one in God. I'm still a teenager, but it has been inside in me that when I get married, I must choose a partner who is equal, who wants to work together, and serve in the next life. So the conclusion is, everything we do, do not forget to return everything to him who has given the talent. Furthermore, we must believe in whatever happens because everything that happens is not out of God's control. Even in marriage, the two people must work hand in hand to realize what God has planned for the marriage. Everything we do has reciprocity and 
we still rely on God in every step of our life.